and through the baptism in the Holy Spirit, we have tasted the powers of the age to come. And God's purpose was to give us such an appetite for the powers of the age to come that we would no longer be tempted by the kind of power that this age offers. Then we saw that this age causes worries that make believers unfruitful. If ever there was a statement that applies to the contemporary church in the Western world, that is it. Then we saw that believers are not to be conformed to this present age. We're not to think like them. We're not to live like them. We are to be different. And then we saw with regard to Demas that a faithful servant of Christ cannot love the present age. You cannot love God and the present age. They're incompatible. The results of that deliverance, very quickly, our citizenship is in heaven. And this is determined by acceptance or rejection of the cross. Where Paul says in Philippians 3, our citizenship is in heaven, he speaks first about those who are professing believers, but who are the enemies of the cross of Christ. They're prepared to accept Christ, but not his cross. And he says some terrible things about them. He says, whose God is their belly, whose end is destruction, who glory in their shame. The only deliverance from that is the acceptance of the cross in our lives. 